Good morning guys and here I am walking Huntington Beach State Park the day after the big storm. Um, it's, a, it's a beautiful day um, other than just cold so I'm really dressed up for this whole thing. I think if you guys look at my video, the previous video where I showed you guys what that thing is pulling behind me and you'll be able to see how I'm dressed up for that. Um, so what I'm doing here, I'm just walking and uh, if I see a shell, I just pick it up and then I put it, uh, if I need it, I put it on that wagon behind me. And this is sea cucumber. The first thing I found there, they are usually, you know, they move as soon as you touch them and the tide is coming in. So anything I find, most of the stuff I'm putting in back where I found them. And there is a tree here that some people put shells on it and some people put all kind of stuff, hang stuff on it. And, and I did notice that somebody put somebody's name in, mem in memory. Somebody local, the name sounds familiar. Rest in peace, Charlotte. This is an arc. I don't find a lot of this kind here. I mean, today I find probably two or three of them. That's it. This size, what I mean, this size. And of course, the starfish is everywhere. Everywhere, they are everywhere. Northern star. It looks like he's been buried in the mud for a long time to be that color. Bay scallops. I found more of them in North Carolina beaches than uh, in South Carolina. See, it's not a bad day. It's a nice day. It's just the wind that's coming from northwest. It was a little brutal. Uh, that must have been a big, big whelk. And over the years, look what happened to it. razor clam that's why you say be careful with your fingers they are sharp you see how windy it is the sand is blowing right from the northwest to the to the water this is it's windy kind of cool Now this is I'm close to the jetties. The jetties is where the water comes inside Morris Inlet and that's where the boats come in the inlet and leave the inlet. And that's where a lot of stuff gets piled up here. I guess they get hit by the jetties and they pile in front of it. The tide is not out yet. I came a little bit early. So what I did, I just looked around here a little bit and then I went uh, on, the, on top of the jetties and sat over there for about 35 40 minutes and came back and look at this here slipper uh, snail on top of uh, olive shell star I'm like wow I found one and as soon they were all over over there by the rocks I found a lot of them they 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 live between the rocks and crawl and stuff and uh, I've had them in my fish tank before the nubbed walk state of New Jersey and Georgia Georgia state shell
Now, one day I came here many years ago. Oh, um, sorry, this is Florida horse conk. Um, it can grow almost to two feet. This is a baby one. So one day I came when it was really cold between the rocks there. I found tons of blue crabs. They were stranded. I guess the water was cold. They just, the water went out fast. And I think there were about 40, 50 of them, something like that. And they were between the rocks. And the tide was out. This is a good, a good place here to fish. There is a lot of fish here and you see a lot of people walk. It's two miles walk from the parking lot all the way here, two miles each way. Some people, they walk there to fish and some people, uh, they on a boat, they go close to it and fish. There is uh, the Garden City jetties and this one is uh, Huntington State Park jetties. Both of them are right next to each other. It's good fishing. I fish that area very, 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 very much. I see the tide is still going out. You still see a few things. There are a lot of these things that are alive too. Oh, there is a friend here. Look at him. Fishbone. Regal sea fan. These things actually they are a bit colony of them really usually when they're underwater. They are they are attached to each other. There are a lot of them. This shark eye, I think is one yeah, of the biggest fun I found eye, this yeah. year. Look at oh, the size of this one, it's nice. Snail. It's beautiful. Oh, usually I find no, them one? but they are like no, pieces, that's broken. That's pieces. A bone here. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Now I try to really put the starfish, you know, and flip them if they are in the wrong position. I try to, but there is a lot of them. The whole beach is covered with them. So I just let the nature do its job. Um, there is, sometimes you can't just change how the nature is. Uh, this has been happening for millions of years. So I just sometimes uh, let them sit where they're at and uh, you never know. Some Maybe there is a reason for it. So sometimes I pick them up. This one is conk, and usually you don't find this around this area because they are here but in deeper water. There are a lot of them in Florida, but not here. Olive shell. Oh, look at the hermit crab right now. This one has a hermit crab right inside it. That's an auger shell with tiny baby hermit crab. Some hermit crabs like this one here, they can be out of water, they are fine. But some of them are really, if they stay out of water for long, they, they are weak or they die quick. A tube worm, nothing in it probably, but uh, it's there. You see this one is alive. You see it's moving, so what I did, I just flipped it. Tide, will, tide is coming in, so it won't be that long.
Now this banded starfish is very delicate and they break, they are fragile. They are not like the other starfish. Now there is a hermit crab in here. Now this one, you see how weak that is because it's cold air and it's not even moving. So the flat claws are really delicate. So what I did, I put them there and hopefully the water comes and it starts going back home. Now between these rocks, you never know what you find here. The tide is, uh, tide is, uh, it's coming in. I found this cool guy. Look at him. I don't know what is he doing. <laughs> really cool. Look a little bit closer. He's moving fast for cold water to be in the cold water. Now, do you guys see the dot on the starfish? That dot actually is where the starfish takes the water in. That's where the water goes in, the dot. It looks like an eye, but that's what it is for. Because I have my rain boots on, my muck boots, M-U-C-K. I love them. The gloves that I have on, they are waterproof, and they also have a place so I can put... Uh, the little heating pads things, the little heat things inside them. Now you can see there is a lot of stuff here. I mean, if you sit here and look at some of the close, you see some tiny little shells and it was cold so and then the water was coming in so I couldn't just sit and look through them. But next week, I am planning to go to the Shell Island. I tried to go this week, but my boat was acting funny, so I fixed it yesterday. I took it for a ride, so the boat is good, so I'm going to... The Shell Island, and I have some videos. I think I've done it uh, a month ago of the island, and I'm sure the island right now is covered with the stuff, especially in the winter time, because a lot of these things, the uh, water is cold, and and they can't handle the waves, and they get washed more of them. They get washed on the beach, but in the summertime they are stronger. They go in the sand. They It's just, you know, it's, uh, for shelling, this is a good time to go. This one is a lightning whelk. Now, the lightning whelk actually it only moves during the day and nubbin whelk and some other whelks they move daytime and nighttime the lightning whelk when you hold it the opening is on the left now you see this one here if you flip it the other way the opening is on the left lightning left l and l that's how i remember them Yeah, why not just put them back? See, this one is empty, so I knew somebody staged the whole thing for a picture, maybe, I don't know. always pick up the garbage well today actually after the storm 
There is not much garbage. There was more garbage two days before the storm. But I think because the storm maybe moved it uh, to a deeper water or I don't know what happened. There is not much uh, garbage this time. I'll keep checking. I'll come back. I did bring bags with me to pick up more garbage. I thought there would be more of them because of the storm. It was uh, uh, not as much. This pan shell is still alive. The storm must be really strong that he pulled it out of the of the sand. You see the, the black stuff in the bottom? That's what they hold themselves in the sand or mud. And there is another garbage, of course. We have to pick it up, take it with us, so. I try to bungee cord it, put a bungee cord on it and uh, just to make sure it just doesn't, you know, fall off. This is a banded starfish. They break easy, so I try to put this one back because they, they are not as hardy as the other ones so, are. And uh, put them back in the water. Keyhole sand dollar. He's missing a piece, so he's probably about 90 cents. Ha <laughs> ha. This is a big, big, big stone crab. Well, I made sure it was really not very active if I him. picked it up. I, you've seen bubbles. my videos before. I pick them up from the hole with my bare hands. He's still alive. So I don't want it to get pinched by these things. If, but wow. this is cold now. It's very cold and they are not active. They don't move fast. They move very slow. That's Look what crabs do. Crabs alive. don't move. Look at this one. He's breathing. Right, so it's still alive. But um, it doesn't have the strength because nah. cold air doesn't have the strength to go back oh, in the yeah. water. So I put it in the water and it slowly started to move and it moved deeper wa to deeper water. This one is a big one. In South Carolina, you can keep okay, only boy. one claw and go. it has to be certain size. Some states, you can keep both of the claws. But in South Carolina, only one. The biggest one, and it has to be a certain size. Don't let this one here pinch you. Ooh, uh, boy, they, uh, I, know, I, know, I know how it feels. Right. Last like year, I had a video where I went and got, go, I don't know how many pounds, 10 pounds, 15 pounds of him, of the claws. Um, yeah. But that was in, uh, in the summer. Yeah. In the summer, they moved. This time of year, they don't move fast. They don't have a lot of food. So this time of year, it's just, you know, they need to take a break. Now I'm waiting for the wave to come and pick this one up here. Let me see if oh, yeah. it's gonna move now. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, oh, you see? There you go. It's moving. Thank you guys for watching. Please come back and watch my other videos. Please subscribe. Thank you. <laughs> hey, go, go ahead. Go, go, go. Bye bye.